Welcome to my lecture online. Now let's talk about the principle of rational expressions. It turns out that this is key to not making mistakes when we simplify, multiply, divide, add, subtract rational expressions. This is really the key. Now notice what we have up here. We have p divided by q, but both the numerator and the denominator are multiplied times k. So essentially, both the numerator and the denominator have the same factor k, and so therefore we can divide both the numerator and the denominator by k, and so we can write that p times k divided by q times k is simply equal to p divided by q. But if instead multiplying we have p plus k and q plus k, we cannot simplify by getting rid of the k's and write as p over q, that is not the same we cannot do that, and that's the essential difference between having factors and when we have things added to the original expression in the numerator and the denominator. So we can then say that we can only simplify a rational expression if we can factor the same, and the key is, the same factor, and we need to be able to factor it out from both the numerator and the denominator. So here's an example. Let's say we have x squared minus 4 and 6x minus 12. The numerator can be factored as x plus 2 times x minus 2 because we have the difference of squares. In the denominator, we can factor out 6 and we're left with x minus 2. Now notice both the numerator and the denominator have a common factor. The factor is x minus 2 and here again we have x minus 2, which means we can simplify by dividing both the numerator and the denominator by x minus 2, which this becomes 1, this becomes 1, and we're left with x plus 2 divided by 6. So here's an example where we can actually simplify both the numerator and the denominator because they have common factors. Common factors means that they're multiplied like here, not added like here. So this we cannot do, this is not permitted, this is permitted, and that's considered the principle of rational expressions. Now, to show you an example where you can see the difference between what we can do and what we cannot do, let's take this right here and write it a little bit differently. Let's say we ended up with something that looks like this. x plus 2 plus the quantity x minus 2 divided by 6 times x minus 2. And here, you may be very tempted. You say, okay, I see an x minus 2 here. I see an x minus 2 there. Can I simplify that by simply dividing the numerator and the denominator by x minus 2? The problem is that we have a plus sign there. And because of that, you cannot do that. You can do it here because we have this multiplied and this is multiplied. But here, this is multiplied. But here, this is added. Because of this plus sign here, you cannot simplify like that. And that is the big difference between what we can and what we cannot do. And that is called the principle of rational expressions. And be very careful. Make sure you understand the difference. And that is how it's done.